My name is Simon Levin. Uh, I'm a potter from northern Wisconsin. And we're pleased to be at Tainan National University of the Arts as a visiting artist, scholar, and Fulbright researcher. In 2009, Jing Yuan invited me to come and build a kiln uh, for the university here. It's a wood fired kiln, it's quite large. The process evokes colors from raw clay, and each clay has its own individual characteristics. I was taken, one, with how much outside influence there is in Taiwan and how the Taiwanese use that. I was inspired to try and come back to this exciting place and see what the indigenous clays of Taiwan might offer as a palette and also as a way to talk about the Taiwan experience where you have a local clay that can do a tremendous amount and incorporate new ideas and concepts, but still, it's Taiwanese. Some of it's in process, some of, yeah, some of it's coming out. Uh, of the kiln. Um, we just did a, a firing an electric kiln. Xing Yuan had been testing pots in Sagar uh, firing, which is uh, an enclosed container with combustible materials in them. And so I loaded up a Sagar yesterday and fired in the kiln. Um, and now these are just uh, cool enough to touch with your hands. Uh, but this is that local clay uh, that's used mostly for brick and tile in this area. Uh, we have been testing uh, local clays here, a uh, little bit more scientific shrinkage tests, but then we're also looking for aesthetic tests. Um, we're going to test this to see if it's still hot. Yeah, it is. Um, and looking for those kind of clay uh, colors we can evoke. It was exciting to find out that this clay is good for functional work, that it um, holds water, it's vitrified, it has a good ring to it. The result, a lot of time, is failure. Uh, we have pots that we have been melted, twisted, stuck together, but the results aren't locked in those specific pots. It's in the knowledge we gain from that process. While we're getting uh, ready for an exhibition of work that will be in Fubei Gallery in Inga, some of the results will be the interaction with people at that exhibition. I think the role of the artist is always important in developing identity, in making an eloquent statement that reflects what a, a society is going through, um, what connects people. I think potters are also important because we tap into something that is accessible to everybody. Uh, it's not an art that's rarefied that's in the museum and away from people. Clay is underfoot, it's in the hand, it's in the cupboard, and we eat off of it. And that makes our contact with people that much richer as artists. Why do I think this project's important? I think it's important for what I can learn and take back to the United States from Taiwan. But I think it also has implications I've seen with the students and interest and a broad sense of possibilities of what you can do with low temperature clay and how to work with materials, how to understand them and test them, and which just allows a deeper connection to the processes that they're involved in. This is the role of the artist in so many ways because it's, it's how we define ourselves. It's how we define ourselves as different and how we define how we belong. It's not necessarily a quantifiable value you can punch up on a calculator, but it goes to pride of place, of knowledge of your history, of the roots. This Fulbright, for me, was about that exact idea. What are, what's in the ground? What's underfoot? What's, what are the roots? What are the material that like, we're made of? What are the possibilities of that material? I think I'm going to be a little bit of an evangelist for Tainan National University of Arts. I, I, apprentices who are looking at grad school, I'll, I'll recommend them to come, all well, the good ones, I'll recommend to come here. Partly because of facilities, partly because of chain, and 
his work and his presence and connections. And then that brings in all these other visiting artists that the graduate students get to experience, um, work with. It's not uh, a program that is insular to Taiwan. He's interested in his students uh, being out there on the world stage. So he brings in artists to visit this program, but he also sends his students out. I think the, that interworking of students and ideas and concepts, I know it helps the American surrounding movement. If you look in Taiwan and, and on the national stage, you can tell that those filtering of ideas and development of them here uh, in Tainan National University of the Arts, it's effective. His students are rising to the top of the field and then having their own ripples. I think one thing I'd like to share, at least one of them, is the sense of possibilities here, of energy, of movement, of development. There's a sense of size of Taiwan that makes things more possible. It's not that you're moving a monolithic country forward, that you can affect things. That's a pretty exciting place to come and visit and see. A couple recipes I might be bringing back. Food's been great. And hopefully bringing back ideas. I mean, that's really why I came, is to see how ceramics play a role in people's daily lives. How the Taiwanese incorporate new ideas. In the U.S., often we're afraid of new ideas. I, I see Taiwanese look at new ideas as a tool that, and try to figure out how they can use that tool. And that openness is um, what I want as an artist to have in my studio. To spring from a deep tradition, but be able to incorporate fluidly and figure them out and, and use them to my advantage.